first today, I am announcing that my executive order from last August 13th, which has allowed school districts to provide remote instruction under certain circumstances during the 2020-2021 academic year, will expire at the end of this current school year. Through this action, we are declaring that all students will be back in school for full-time in-person instruction come the start of the 2021-2022 school year. Further, this announcement also includes the removal of the full-time remote learning option for families. Next year, parents will not be enabled to broad scale opt their child out of in-person instruction as was allowed during this school year. We are facing a much different uh, world than one year ago when we had to begin planning for this school year. We know much more about this virus and how it spreads. We have much more on the ground experience in fighting it. And we have a robust vaccination program that now reaches adolescents as young as 12. My guest, Judy and Tina, that the, the vaccinations that are in trial, we're gonna, we're gonna see those, that age limit go down even further over time, uh, hopefully sooner than later. And as time moves forward, we will gain more knowledge and more tools. I echo the words uh, of Randy Weingarten, a friend, president of the American Federation of Teachers, who over the weekend said her union was, and I quote her, all in. She also said, and I quote Randy, the United States will not be fully back until we are fully back in school. We know that we can't get back fully in person safely with the, we know that we can rather get back fully in person safely with the right protocols in place, and that is what we should all be planning to do. Of course, we will continue as we have from the get go to follow the science, and should there be a localized outbreak or other emergency, we will act accordingly. Otherwise, buildings will be fully open. And this decision will have no impact on summer school programs. Summer school programs have never been part of that executive order. They remain uh, outside and we've put out guidance on that already.